Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. First, the highlights. Thugs invade APC aspirants meeting in Taraba. Gunmen kidnap expatriate, kill driven soldier in Undo. Terrorists kill PDP delegates in Niger. Supreme Court reserves judgment in suit against Section 84, Subsection 12 of Electoral Act. Political thugs have invaded the All Progressives Congress stakeholders meeting in Jalingo, the Taraba state capital. The meeting, which was attended by six gubernatorial aspirants, was altered by the invasion. The Commissioner of Police, Shukoy Abibola, who confirmed the incident, said the police restored sanity immediately. It received an emergency call from the party's state chairman that their lives were under threat. The commissioner assured the residents that the police will live up to its responsibility by protecting lives and property. Gunmen have reportedly kidnapped an expatriate at Ogbomo area of Ijebuowo in a local government area of Undo State. The gunmen also killed a soldier who was set to be a security escort of the victim who is an engineer. The driver of the victim was also killed by the gunmen. The identity of the victims had not been revealed at the time of filing this report. According to a source, the incident occurred at about 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Meanwhile, four delegates of the People's Democratic Party from Marija local government area in Niger State have been killed by terrorists while returning home to get a valid means of identification to enable them vote in the gubernatorial primary elections. The election, which was earlier scheduled to be held on Wednesday, 25th May, was postponed to Thursday, 26th of May, because four of the five aspirants protested that the delegates' list was tampered with to favor a particular candidate. It was resolved that each delegate would have to present a means of national identification such as voter's card or national identity card at the venue to authenticate their names in the delegates list. The Supreme Court has reserved judgment in suit filed by President Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation seeking an interpretation of Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act 2022. The seven-man panel led by Justice Mohamed Datijo says date of judgment will be communicated to the parties in suit. The apex court arrived at this conclusion after taking arguments from parties and adopting the processes. The court also granted the Nigerian Bar Association the opportunity to be an army course curie in the suit. <laughs>